We are back here on Girl Talk. Leah, you have the you have the chair now. Oh, exactly. <laughs> Leah Arnold is here from Island Rec Center. It's always fun. You're so easy to talk to. You've got a bunch of good stuff coming up. Since we've been talking about fashion, we need places to go to wear it. Well, we have the perfect events down at Shelter Cove Community Park. You can come on down all fall. Um, we start off all fall season um, with our pumpkin patch event, which is a kids event. but. Ladies, come on out. It's Friday evening. Wear your winter clothes down. Um, come shop at So Sandra. What is your role at the Island Rec Center? I am the director of programs and operations. And so October is a great time because the weather is absolutely beautiful. So it you've is. got the pumpkin patch. What are some of the other things that we want to go to? Um, we have our oyster festival um, the weekend of November tenth, eleventh, mm -hmm. and twelfth. Come on down. It's all Low Country feel. We'll have Low Country pop up artisans down there, Ooh. so you can come shopping down there as well. You can come crack a bucket of oysters. Um, we'll have different variety of bands going on throughout the day Ooh, as well as fun. if it's really chilly, wear your cold winter clothes and we'll have a bonfire going throughout the day as well. But always kids activities, so bring your kids out I as well. I was gonna say, it seems to me like you have something for the whole family. It's You encourage that, don't you? We do, we mm -hmm. want the whole families to come out. That's what the Island Recreation Association is all about, is families and building the community. So bring your families out, seniors, adults, kids, there's always something for everybody. I feel like the Island Rec Center has become sort of an anchor when it comes to representing Hilton Head and the mm -hmm. Lowcountry and the family, it seems like you're always doing something. You're getting ready to do a beautiful new addition. We are. We are working on our enhancement and expansion right now. We should be back in our old building hopefully in January, and then the whole project should be done hopefully coming up in May. So and we're what really are, looking forward to that. What do we have to look forward to with you that? Have to look forward to, we'll have a whole new expanded gymnasium with a second gym in there as, as well as an indoor walking track. We'll mm -hmm. be able to offer more fitness classes for moms, dads, seniors, kids, everything like that. So when it's cold outside, you can come inside and run on the track or walk on the track as well as our pool. Will yeah, add, isn't the pool doing The pool cool? will be, yeah, we're getting a whole new um, dome that'll go up and this November. Like a permanent a, dome? It'll be permanent November through March and then it'll okay. come down to go outdoors again. My kids swam in that bubble. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be permanent, but it'll be bubble. much nicer. <laughs> and there will actually be bathrooms and locker rooms outside at the nice. pool so you won't have to hurry, scurry oh, inside during the winter months to go change and use the restroom, so it'll be very nice. If That's people super kind nice. of want to follow along with what you all are doing, mm -hmm. what can they do? I know there's so much to participate in, and I think sometimes we get so crazy we forget to. Um, just check out our website, islandreccenter.org. Um, it's got all of our upcoming events as well as all of our fall programming, and I know it's never too soon to you know start planning for the winter. So if you have kids that have some winter sports they want to get involved in, as well as our senior center, we always have activities going and on a there. Variety. They have well, see, and they're that's great what I prices. Forget. And yes. I'm telling you, because I have a lot of children. She's got sometimes kids. it's like <laughs> the prices can freak you it out is. a little bit. Yeah. And mm -hmm. the rec center programs, whether it's the summer ones or not, they're so affordable. Yeah. And we're always out there for working parents. Um, all of our community events, all those proceeds go back to our children's scholarship fund. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, if you're falling back on difficult times, no financial restraints. We'll always welcome the kids in. Um, oh, they just have to come fill out our scholarship See, that's form. That's really nice. nice. What kind of, of um, activities do you have for kids is what I'm really trying to say. Do you have soccer leagues? We do. We have our dog park at Chaplin Community Park there so he can come yeah. out there and play. <laughs> He's like, Mom. Uh -huh. yeah. um, during the fall and spring, we have our soccer program is one of our largest that we have going on. But we have swimming going on year-round, swimming programs. We also have a girls and boys lacrosse program. Um, we have roller hockey year Girls round. Girls and boys? Girls lacrosse? and boys lacrosse, okay. and it's growing leaps and bounds every well, season. Gymnastics. gymnastics we have through in you. Uh, surfing in the summer. <laughs> summer right? yeah. Like, just so, some fun stuff. Fun stuff, yeah. yeah. And then we always have uh, our winter basketball leagues, but we start them as young as four years old. So, do you it have the most stop. fun job? We ever. do. There's never a dull moment. <laughs> <laughs> dogs are no dogs. <laughs> so there's yeah. never a dull moment. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. We love having you. Come back on again. Well, I will. Thank so, you very much. All right. Stay with us. There's more to come here on Girl Talk.